What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another live stream from the Scalar Learning Channel, and we are back at it with this Khan Academy series that is super fun for me as I'm going through all of the math concepts in detail from start to finish. And we're starting at the level of foundations. If you're not familiar with the Khan Academy layout, foundations is you could say the lowest level or the or the most uh, foundational level, really, in terms of these math concepts. We're on to problem solving and data analysis, lesson two in that section, unit conversion. Uh, if you're new to the the series or these videos, I'm taking these pro I'm solving these problems for the first time right in front of you, uh, and I will explain as we go. Problem walkthroughs are always the best way to teach this content from my experience. So without further ado, let's do it. Here we go. Four problems, and let's get it going. All right, here we go. Boom, got this up here. Let's do it. In an eight-minute long game, professional video game player performed a total of 2,400 actions. What is the player's average number of actions per minute? So something very important about this language that I love to point out is this word per, when you see it, you want to think about it as synonymous with divide. So when, when we're doing this, it's 2,400 actions per, meaning divided by, eight minutes or eight. Uh, we, we do that division. You can do it mentally. It's going to be 300. So the answer is 300 actions per minute. Boom. Done. Okay. Moving on. Number two, Patricia made 14 pints of punch. How many fluid ounces of punch did she make? Okay. So they give us this conversion. One pint is equal to 16 fluid ounces. So one thing I'm going to go to, even though you might be like, all right, this is pretty obvious. I just do 14 times 16. Fine. But one thing I always like to do is set up a proportion if I just even have a tiny bit of doubt because the the method for setting up a proportion is really straightforward and uniform and it's just going to make sure you feel comfortable if, like I said, if there's any hesitancy. So I say, all right, we got a relationship between pints and fluid ounces. Okay, I'll just say F-O. And I know that's not the, well, here, we'll do the right abbreviation, F-L-O-C. And so we say one pint is equivalent to 16 fluid ounces. On the other side, we know that they've got, we've got 14 pints. Where does that go? On the top, because that's how I labeled it. I could have flipped it. It doesn't matter. But this is the way I labeled it, so now it goes into that paradigm. So we got 14 on top. How many fluid ounces in that is in that? Well, that's the unknown. That's our X. And now once we have this, we got no question in terms of how to do it. Cross, cross, multiply. X times one is X. 16, 16 times 14 is 224. I happen to have that memorized, but again, you can use the calculator if need be. That means my answer is 224. Boom, done. All right, number two, or number three, sorry. A frozen pepperoni pizza has six servings of the uh, six servings. If the pizza contains this many calories, what is the number of calories per serving? Again, that word per means divide. So it's uh, 1,860 calories per six. Let's see if we can do this mentally. It would be um, 310 because 300 times six is 1,800. 10 times six is 60. So 310, D is the winner. Let's check it out. Yeah. All right. Last one. Here we go. We've got, hold on. Uh, a sunflower is 2.4 meters tall. What is the sunflower's height in centimeters? All right, so we're doing the conversion again. They give us this nice conversion. You might be like, all right, well, I just multiply by 100. Fine. If that comes to you that way, great. Again, I'm going to give you the option of setting up that nice proportion, which I'm a big fan of. We know we got a relationship between meters and centimeters such that, which is outlined right here, one meter is equivalent to 100 centimeters. Now we got 2.4 meters over here with an unknown amount of centimeters that we're trying to calculate. Once you have this, cross multiply, x times one is x, 100 times 2.4 is 2,400, right? I'm sorry, not 2,400, 240, excuse me. You moved the decimal over two times, my bad. So the answer is D, hold on, let me clear this. The answer is D, 240 for the win, done. That's how you do it. All right, guys, if you did join, uh, what's up, Abdul Azim? I watch your videos for December and nailed it. Hey, it's 750 in math. That's fantastic. Congratulations. Uh, if you guys are joining along or watching this after the fact, watching the replay, and you do like what you see, make sure to click that like button. If you want to see more from the Scale of Learning channel, make sure to click subscribe. And that's it. We're going to be banging out videos every day leading up to the March SAT. So make sure to join along. Thank you guys so much for joining, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.